Hello, this is Stephen Withrow with Webicator. In this video, I'm going to show you a solution developers at Yolantis came up with for tab bar animation for iOS. The writer of the blog, Kate Abrasimova, has agreed to let us create this video showing the solution created by developers at Yolantis. The article is available at the URL shown here. Here is an animation of the tab bar. The tab bar is located at the bottom of the device screen. And when the center button is clicked, the tab bar will collapse or expand. The center button acts as a toggle. This is designed to help the user in interacting with the application with one hand on large screen devices. Further down the web page, Kate shows us the links so that we can download the project from GitHub or Dribbble. I have downloaded the project here. This is the example project in Xcode. I have opened the main storyboard. We see the tab bar controller in the interface builder. Notice that four items are associated with the tab bar controller. We see the items here. The chat item is the screen that will be presented when the app is initially invoked by the user. Looking at the identity inspector, I see that the custom class for this view is the YAL third test view controller. So each of these items has its own controller which is an Objective-C program to respond to events applicable to that particular item. In the document outline, I'm going to put the focus back on the folding tab bar controller. Notice the custom class is YAL folding tab bar controller. This is the Objective-C class which will handle events applicable to the folding tab bar on the view. In the Project Navigator, I'm going to select the App Delegate. The App Delegate is going to create the items. Notice each item is a pointer to YAL tab bar item. We saw four items in the design under the Interface Builder. At runtime, these will be instantiated and then they will be attached to the tab bar controller. This is the folding tab bar. The logic to respond to events is included in this Objective-C class. Now we will run the application. I am now running the application in the iOS simulator for Xcode. This is the initial screen that is displayed. When I click the plus button, of course on the mobile device the user would tap the plus button. In the simulator I can click the plus button and it will expand. I click it again, it will collapse. Expand and then collapse. The toolbar consists of toolbar items and each toolbar item may in fact have a left and right image. On this particular screen the left image is a search and the right image is a new chat. Thanks again to Kate and the developers at Yolantis for the inspiration for this video. For more articles on tab bar animation for iOS, visit the Elantis blog at the URL shown here.